A tragic weekend with multiple mass shootings in a 24 hour span, leaving two women dead and multiple people fighting for their lives. And tonight, questions remain as no arrests have been made in either case. At 11 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. And we start with the mass shooting at a protest at Normandale Park that killed one woman, also left several more in critical condition. We have breaking news from our reporter, Jenny Young. Jenny, what can you tell us right now? Jeff, Liz, we got a tip that police were searching the home of the person involved in the shooting, the person who apparently opened fire. Uh, that's at Rose City Terrace. We went over there and there were several uh, PPP officers. We have video of that. Uh, they were going through uh, this person's garage. That's what we could see. I asked an officer there on the scene what was going on. That officer confirming that they were serving a search warrant at that residence. It's an apartment or a condominium, condominium there at the Rose City Terrace. He said th this search warrant for the home of the man involved in this shooting. I asked if we could call this man a criminal suspect. That officer said no, but we will have more information tomorrow at 1030 AM. He said PPB is ready uh, to announce more information uh, tomorrow morning because Jeff Liz, as you know, we have two major questions that we need answers to. Who was this person who was shot and killed? What is that person's identity? And who is this person who opened fire? Uh, PPB not releasing those names. All of a sudden, you hear nine shots, eight, nine shots. I can't keep track, but it was pop, 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 pop. And then you hear a small pause and then you hear four louder shots. Those gunshots coming from Normandale Park. It's close to Jeff Price's home. No, I heard two different guns go off. Not doubting that at all. Coin six obtained dispatch audio from the moments police and paramedics were responding to the scene. Uh, what we have is uh, reports of six to seven people shot. Uh, we're triaging now to get an idea of how many patients we're going to have. We have reports that some of them are going to be uh, fatally wounded where they are. Sunday, Portland police tried holding a press conference about the ordeal only to have it interrupted. Capture the narrative and lie. Police moved that press conference online where they told us they're not able to share the identity of the deceased victim or information about possible arrests. It is very complicated. Things are changing constantly in this investigation, so I just cannot release any information. Again tonight, we just left the scene a few minutes ago where police are serving a search warrant going through the residence of that person. They say um, opened fire. We don't have the name of that person or the person who was fatally shot, but we do expect to have more information around 1030 in the morning. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin6 News.